So today I'm going to be playing Pyramid Builder, and I found it out by my social studies teacher, so I hope you enjoy it. So, journey back four and a half years, four and a half thousand years, to Egypt's old kingdom, to the Pyramid Age. As the vizier or, or head of state, you are about to undertake the building of the king's pyramid. Have you got what it takes to be a pyramid builder? Let's launch it. And here we go. Okay, the king at court. The king faces you surrounded by an entourage of the queen, fan barriers, bodyguards, and scribes. His introductions Instructions to you are short. You must build a pyramid so when he dies, his soul can rise up to the heavens and take his divinely ordained place among the gods. <coughs> As Pfizerier, you oversee all the important affairs of state. Building the king's pyramid will be the most important project of your life. You will have until the king dies to build your pyramid. This may happen to any, at any time, so don't delay. Before your momentous, I can't say that word, task, pray to the gods to gain their goodwill. Fail and disaster will could befall Egypt. Succeed, and the king will be worshipped eternally. Explore the scene above carefully. Information found here may be important. First, Seshet, goddess of writing and measurement. Then, Anubis, god of embalming the dead. And then, Sekhmet, god of goddess of war and disease and Cess, the dude of chaos. Next, choose a suitable location for the king's pyramid. Click the helicopter, I can't say that word either, region to view the possible sites. How about, let's go, oh yeah, click that. So I must go there. Which one shall we choose? Well, that might not work. Ignore that. That's too close to the river, because you never know it might flood. This seems good. West of the Nile, on a plateau above the Nile Valley. I'll choose this location. Your art I, I can't say that word. Has been sketching pyramid designs. You must look at his drawings and decide which angle to use. Think carefully because only one angle is suitable. That seems a little too big, and that seems a little bit too small. So let's go with this one. Choose this angle. The blah is summoning up the pros and cons of the building materials. It is recommended that whatever material you decide on, an outer surface of polished limestone be used to decorate the surface of the pyramid. No. Granite. This material is, dream is extremely durable, but is heavily, heavy to transport, transport and difficult to shape. Granite offers complete protections from grave robbers. And that seems a bit too much, so let's go see this. Limestone is heavier than mud brick, but lighter than granite. It is easier to shape and long-lasting, but may not offer much protection against grave robbery. Let's see the other one. Mud brick. The pyramid will be built quickly as mud bricks are easily to make and transport to difficult locations. I think we should go with this one. So choose it. You have desired, decided to build the King's Pyramid to the west on the plateau of the, of the Nile River. Nile Valley, whatever. You have chosen an angle of 52 for the slopes, and you have decided 
to use limestone as your main building material. Next, I don't feel like showing you that because it's not that interesting, so skip, let's skip it. Once the process of blah to the north-south line has taken place, the king must give his official seal of approval at the foundation ceremony, thus finding the plan of the building and placing it under the protection of those dudes. A priest dressed as Sachet, the dudad du du of writing, measurement, and master builders, plays a special role during the n ritual. As visorer, you must ensure that the priests wear the correct headdress to res respect, represent such a choose one of the selected shown here. I think it's this one, because she look, it looks like a girl in those two dilts, so let's go with her. During the ceremony, the king and Sachet plant stakes into the ground at the corner of plan building and join them with the cord. The site is then purified and the king places amulets and other objects and foundations atop the layer of sand. It is only then that the building work can commence. Blah, 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 blah. Next, before building the pyramid, you must make your decisions above your workforce. Your choices here will affect how long it takes to build the pyramid. When you see the symbol below, you can get extra advice to help with your decisions. Hmm, advice. Skilled craftsmen are useful for jobs such as precious whatever that word is, carving and sculpting. They do not quarry or haul the heavy blocks during the Nile floods. Farmers are blah, making up the bulk of the workforce, and officers include the overseas and scribes. They have much bigger food rations. So let's make it like this. Maybe like that. And a bit like that. And slaves can just be over here. Next, there are relatively few slaves in Egypt at the moment. Any that are available have been heavily guarded a drain on resources. So let's go like this, and like this, and then like this. So th select three suitable foods for your workers. Bread sounds good. Potato sounds good. Those two don't. Meat would be good. How often do you like to feed your workers? How about twice a day? Not too much, not too little. And pyramid building is hard work. Select three supplies which it will make life more bearable for your workers. So how about pillow? They don't need makeup. No, that just distract them. So nice clothing. And how about a bathtub? Wait. Workers are needed protection from the scorching stun. Coal is used around the eyes to prevent diseases and deflect the glare from the sun. Says blah blah. Snake game. Our board games commonly played in Egypt. Most Egyptians bathe in the Nile. Egyptians sleep on wooden headrests. That sounds horrible, but I'm adding that and that. Choose how often you would like your workers to ha have a day off. Every 20 days. We want them working hard. Every three instinctives, your workers will be more productive given the right motivation. Now advice. Workers are divided into gangs. Of 1,000 men, gold is only awarded to high officers. Workers see their families on certain days. Priests must study in order to prepare for the role. The main drink in ancient Egypt is beer. Being sent to the granite is a punishment for most of the work undertaken by prisoners. So how about gangs beer? Net. And maybe time off. Because that sounds good.
You are almost ready to start building your pyramid. First, you must set sail from Aswan to the pyramid site on the barge heavily laden with granite for use in the inner chambers of the pyramid. Make sure you steer your barge carefully so that you pre your precious cargo is returned safely. Since, wait, oh here we go. Beware if you take more than 21 days to deliver the granite, you will delay the building process. It is flood season and the river is flowing fast. Wide and deep you must avoid obstacles such as sandbanks, islands, hippos, and crocodiles. Be by careful navigation. Navigation. Don't let strong winds and rapids steer you off. Of course. Now, since I don't have a lot of time left, only five minutes, uh, I am going to send him. But first, let me read that. Since I already have played this game, I get a little ahead of myself. If your ship becomes too damaged, you will be forced to stop for repairs, thus adding further days to your journey time. If you do not want to steer your boat along the Nile River, you can choose to send your second in the command, but remember, he's less experienced than you, so he might delay you further. I'm gonna go second in command. Your second in command took 60 days to complete the journey along the Nile. Next. Now that you have made all the initial preparations, it is time to oversee the building of the pyramid. Marking out the reference lines. The pyramid foundation is leveled blah, 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 blah. How were heavy blocks lifted so high? Is it possible that the blocks were raised by basket, basic ramps? And there are various theories about this ramp used. To examine the three theories, follow the link below. I skipped a few parts because this video is coming to an end. So let's just read this. You have disappointed the king by making poor decisions regarding your workforce. You have been fired. It is estimated that it would take you 43 years to build the pyramid. It is possible to build it in 20 years. Play again, advice, or exit the game. So that failed. But you can always try it yourself. So, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the little video. And goodbye.